What's up guys, it's EB here with Design Tips and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a doc uh, kind of image in Photoshop. It's very easy and simple. This way you can make your own docs, whether it be banners or posters or icons. Um, it'll be very simple and easy to do in Photoshop in just a few steps. As you can see, here's an example of kind of a doc um, wallpaper that I made. And of course, you can download this off of MacintoshTips.com. Link in the description for all the downloads for the wallpapers. But I'm going to show you how to do this today. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up a Photoshop document. I just do a, a nice texture in the background just so we don't have a blank background um, such as this so we'll go ahead and throw a nice texture in there and then first thing you want to do is go ahead and make a rectangle so there's two ways to do this you can either grab your uh, rectangle marquee tool or you can do it by grabbing your just rectangle tool so I'm going to go ahead and just grab the rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle there you go okay it doesn't really matter what fill it is right now we're going to work with that in just a minute okay now let's get to the meat of it. Now what you want to do is actually have a perspective look to it so it looks like it's slanted back like a dock. So what you want to do now is go to Edit, Transform Path, and then Perspective. Now you're going to get these six little margins around so you can move it around and make it look like it's a perspective image, um, like it's a 3D image. And what you want to do is take the top one and drag it inwards until you get it to where you want it and then let go. And then you can hit Enter and then of course you have the dock coming to life. Okay, now what you want to do here, I think this is a little big, so I'm just going to transform it up. And how I did this, I just hit Command T for transform. And that looks good about right there. Okay, now what you want to do is actually go into your layer style by double clicking on that layer, and you want to add a nice gradient overlay to this image. And as you see, the one in my dock below kind of has that white to a gray look. So I'm going to go in here and go from white, it's kind of off white. To gray, and you can have it like this, or you can flip flop it. How you do that? You just hit, hit reverse, so that's fine. Uh, other ways you can make this kind of a 3D look is you can actually hit bezel. As you see, it gives it a nice little cut here, and also contour, which is kind of emphasize that a little more. Okay, of course you can crank that up or play with it however however much you want. Okay, other ways to add depth to it is of course add a new layer. And what you want to do is just grab your brush tool and have a nice soft brush. So I'm just going to use my drop shadow brushes. Choose a small brush and then drag it across the bottom. And then from there, it, as you can see, it adds more depth to it. If you if you want to go further than that, you can actually go in here and add a gradient overlay um, and flip it and of course change your colors. Um, this way it looks like it's down on the bottom and it's sitting down okay um, now to the actual button as you see on my desktop I have the nice little neon button and it can also be found in my dock here as well um, that nice blue neon and this is very simple guys first thing you want to do is of course add a new layer on top and grab your um, your eclipse marquee tool and of course I'm going to zoom in here and then just draw a small little oval just like that okay from here, I can go ahead and put a color fill in it. You can either use that marquee tool or you can use this eclipse tool. It doesn't really matter because uh, you can be putting a fill in it anyways. So go ahead and put a fill in it. And then from there, I'll go ahead and open this up. And you want to add one, a cover up color overlay. And you want this to be kind of a off blue, kind of white. So about right there, it's kind of bluish white. And then an outer glow. Okay, on the outer glow, you want to make sure that it's a darker blue, but still not very dark. But right there, and then crank up the spread and the size of this. And as you can see, it's giving that glow effect. I'll go ahead and darken this up just a little bit more. All right. Now, once you have what you need, then you can obviously play with more settings, such as the opacity of it, the size, and the spread. So that's your basic drift. You can, you can play around different colors on the button, but of course once you zoom out, you can see now I have my button there, and that's a little big, so I'm going to go ahead and transform that so it looks more like a smaller oval. That should look good right there. Perfect, okay? So we've got our button, we've got our dock, now we need an image. 
So for our image, I'm going to actually use a screen a ScreenFlow logo since that is the application I'm using to record this. So what I'm going to do now is actually take this image here and drag it in here by going to File, Place, Find the Image, Import it, and of course size it down. And again, just a quick tip: if you don't if you don't want it to size down awkwardly, you're just going to hold down Shift and drag in, and it'll keep it the same symmetrical size. Go ahead and hit enter and line that up. Now what you want to do now is actually have that nice reflection just like all these, these um, apps do down here. So what you want to do is duplicate that layer. Fly through this because this is a very easy process. Make sure it's on that copy layer. Go to transform. Flip vertically. Drag it down. And then from there you want to actually add a mask layer by hitting this button down here. Go to my gradient tool, change up the gradient to straight black to straight white, make sure it's selected on this first gradient, click on the top of this, drag down, and there you have the reflection. Now from there you can actually lower the opacity, I'm going to lower it down to about 60%, that looks good, and then make sure that your button is actually on the very top. So drag that to the very top. Alright guys, and there you have it. That's just a basic way to add to to build a dock. Of course, you can change the, the colors and the size, um, how to add depth to the dock, how to add a button on your dock, and of course, how to add an image and a reflection. Anyways, guys, this has been Evie Macintosh Tips. Again, go check out the website at MacintoshTips.com, as well as this tutorial, which is linked on the sidebar for a step-by-step -step tutorial, and also check out the downloads for the wallpapers such as this on that website, plus more. Catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.